I don't think we can stress enough on the point that the universe is really weird and that bizarre things are unfolding in the depths of the early universe. Okay, so just hear me out first. Scientists are completely stumped, at least for starters, their trusted theories are falling apart as mysterious unidentified objects begin showing up in deep field images captured by the Webb telescope. These aren't galaxies, at least not the kind we've ever seen, they're unlike anything we've classified before. Astronomers recently uncovered a slew of these strange cosmic entities scattered across the distant universe. What's more shocking, Webb has peered further back than ever before, even beyond the so-called Dark Ages, the one we spoke of in yesterday's video, and what it revealed has left the scientific community stunned. These ancient structures don't fit within our current cosmological models. In fact, they threaten to rewrite everything we thought we knew about the universe's origins. I know we've been hearing this over and over again, but I believe they have a reason for reiterating this. So. I want you all to bear with me here for a second. What keeps baffling is how our scientific community keeps making these claims of new objects, challenging our models, and yet they still do nothing about it, like revising our so-called models. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that how science is supposed to work? Anyways, let's move on. So most scientists believe the universe began 13.8 billion years ago, but the data now paints a conflicting picture. Some Nobel Prize winning physicists are beginning to question whether the universe even had a beginning at all. Could the cosmos be far older or stranger than we ever imagined? Could what we call the early universe actually be something else entirely? The Lambda CDM model, our so-called standard model of cosmology, has guided scientists for decades. It's built on the idea of cold dark matter and a mysterious force called dark energy. But now, James Webb's latest observations are challenging its very foundation. The telescope has spotted objects so massive, so packed with stars that they simply shouldn't exist, at least not this early in the universe. According to the Lambda CDM framework, there just isn't enough ordinary matter in the cosmos to form these kinds of galaxies so soon after the Big Bang. The timeline doesn't add up. For these gigantic stellar systems to form, every drop of ordinary matter would have had to condense into stars almost instantly, a scenario that defies logic and physics as we know them. So what exactly did the James Webb Space Telescope witness at the farthest edge of our observable universe? And why are scientists saying these discoveries could rewrite everything? Since Edwin Hubble's groundbreaking discovery in 1929, we've known the universe is expanding. Galaxies are rushing away from each other, not because they're flying through space, but because space itself is stretching. But here's the wild part. There's no center to this expansion. No matter where you are, it always looks like you're at the center with everything else speeding away. Even stranger, this expansion is accelerating. Distant galaxies aren't just drifting away. They're fleeing faster and faster, a revelation that led to the discovery of dark energy. Now, imagine standing on Earth, pointing the Webb telescope deep into the cosmos. Everything you see, all the ancient light coming toward you, is moving away. The farther a galaxy is from us, the faster it's racing away. That's a core idea in cosmology, and at a certain extreme distance, something truly mind-bending happens. There's a region in space where galaxies are moving away from us at the speed of light. This invisible cosmic boundary is called the Hubble sphere. But here's the twist. Galaxies beyond that sphere are receding faster than light itself. Now, that sounds like a dead end, right? Common sense says we should never see light from these galaxies. If they're moving away faster than light, how could their light ever catch up to us? Surprisingly, we can still see them. Thanks to the accelerating expansion of space, the Hubble sphere itself is growing. As it expands, it pulls more distant galaxies into our line of sight, even those once thought lost to the cosmic horizon. This means we're seeing galaxies that should be unreachable by light simply because the universe's expansion is changing the rules as we go. But this isn't limitless. There's a cosmic boundary we can't peek beyond, the observable universe. A bubble roughly 92 billion light years across. 
Stare into its edge, and you'll find the afterglow of creation itself, the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's the last whisper from the Big Bang, and the farthest light we'll ever be able to see. When we peer deep into space, we're not just looking far away, we're looking back in time. Every glimmer of light from a distant galaxy carries an ancient story, and the farther it is, the older that story becomes. Take Jade's GSC-14, the most distant galaxy ever spotted by the James Webb Space Telescope. What we're seeing is not what that galaxy looks like today. We're seeing it as it was when the universe was just 290 million years old. That's like looking at a baby photo of a galaxy that's now grown far beyond our reach. Right now, GSZ-14 has moved beyond the edge of our observable universe. It still exists somewhere out there, but the light it emits today will never reach us. The universe's expansion is stretching space so fast that its current light is lost to us forever. Whatever GSZ-14 has become, maybe it merged, maybe it faded, it's hidden in the cosmic unknown. And here's the wild part. The observable universe isn't the whole story. It's just the part of the universe we can see. A region about 92 billion light years wide. Beyond that, more stars, more galaxies, and possibly an infinite expanse that continues forever. But here's where the Big Bang gets interesting. If the universe is truly infinite, as many scientists now believe, then it's always been infinite. The Big Bang didn't happen at one single point. It happened everywhere at once across the entire infinite universe. The entire cosmos wasn't born from a tiny dot. It was born in every corner of space simultaneously. So when you look up at the night sky, remember, you're not just seeing stars. You're witnessing the ancient light of an infinite universe still unfolding. The formation of the first galaxies wasn't some localized event. It happened everywhere, all at once, even in the parts of the universe we can't see. According to our best theories, matter appeared across the entire cosmos simultaneously, not in one central explosion, but in a vast, universe-wide transformation. The cosmic microwave background radiation, that faint glow we detect from every direction, is the ancient echo of this moment, the first light from the first matter. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope is throwing a wrench into those neat cosmological theories. <sighs> Webb was expected to spot the universe's first stars and galaxies on the edge of what we can observe, ancient, dim, primitive structures. But instead, it found something stranger. Bright, powerful objects that don't behave like the early galaxies we expected. These aren't just a few cosmic oddballs. They're everywhere Webb looks in that deep, ancient region of space. Scientists have tried again and again to understand these anomalies, but every new study just deepens the mystery. <laughs> One recent study, published in the Astrophysical Journal, reported the detection of 87 galaxies that may have existed only 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. That's way too early and way too bright. These objects are too organized, too massive, and too luminous to fit within our current understanding of galaxy formation. So what are they? Galaxies on fast forward, something completely new, or a sign that the story we've been telling about the birth of the universe is missing some crucial chapters. Our current models of the universe say that forming large numbers of galaxies right after the Big Bang should have been nearly impossible. The early universe simply didn't have enough time or material to produce them. But a new study led by astronomer Hao Jing Yun has flipped that idea on its head. According to Yun, even if only a handful of these candidate galaxies turn out to be real, it would still force us to rethink how galaxies came into existence. Typically, galaxies form gradually. They're filled with gas and dust swirling around their center, raw material that slowly births stars over millions of years. In fact, most galaxies only convert about 10% of their gas into stars. That's the cosmic norm. But what if that norm doesn't apply? 
Using spectroscopy, scientists looked into their chemical fingerprints and found something truly mind-blowing. These galaxies had already turned most of their gas into stars, and they did it shockingly fast. They've done the unthinkable, turned 100% of their surrounding material into stars. No dust, no leftover gas, just pure stellar power. And here's the kicker. This shouldn't be possible. According to everything we know, or thought we knew, about the universe, a galaxy isn't supposed to burn through all its material. Our current cosmological models say it takes billions of years for galaxies to form and evolve using only a fraction of their atoms to make stars. These things formed incredibly early, look nothing like our predicted models, and might not even be galaxies at all. Some scientists are seriously considering the idea that we're not just looking at strange galaxies, we might be looking at something entirely new. And here's the wildest part. If these objects are galaxies, then our entire Big Bang model could be wrong. That's not an exaggeration. It would mean galaxies like these shouldn't exist this early in the universe. Yet here they are, staring right back at us. So what exactly are we looking at? Truth is, no one knows. Are these ancient galactic titans, star factories from a forgotten era, or something we haven't even imagined yet? Let us know what you think these mysterious objects could be. And if your mind is as blown as ours, smash that like button and subscribe.